Welcome back to Physics with Miyoshi. And we're going to talk about uh, kinematics in one dimension with constant acceleration some more. And we're going to continue on looking at the average acceleration uh, is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time uh, equation. But we're going to do something a little bit different here. We want to now, instead of starting with zero as our initial or having zero as our final velocity, let's look at what the acceleration would be if I have I'm driving my car, say, down the road, and I uh, went from a 55 mile an hour speed limit to a 75 mile an hour speed limit, for instance. Um, what if I want to accelerate in 12 seconds? What will that be? What will that give me? Oops, actually, I want to go 70. Okay, the 70 is the speed limit. So, what if I want to do that? Well, this is my V initial, this is my V final. So, if I look at this equation, I can look and say the average acceleration is my V final minus V initial divided by delta T. So my final is 70 miles per hour. My initial is 55 miles per hour and I have 12 seconds. If I do that, 70 minus 55 is 15. So 15 miles per hour in 12 seconds. That gives me, uh, what does that give me? 1.25 miles per hour per second and again I could use some uh, unit conversions and I can convert this to miles per second per second if I wanted to or I can just leave it like this because what I want to do now is I want to play around with this just a little bit and what if I decided instead of I wanted to go to um, a specific speed what if I decided instead I was going to accelerate at this time this um, rate for a uh, eight seconds instead. So now I'm going from 55 miles an hour. I'm going to use this acceleration that I had here but I, because I can I can really determine that and instead of going for 12 seconds though I want to go for eight seconds. Well you can do some ratios and figure that out but let's just use this same equation. So I have a average acceleration is my um, change in velocity. Well let's just do V final minus V initial divided by T. Well, this time I know the acceleration, I know the initial velocity, and I know the time. So let's rearrange this equation and find, to find the final velocity all by itself. So if I just multiply by T, okay, I'll put the T over there, and then I want to, I can add, then this will give me um, a T is V final minus V initial and I can then find, subtract or add in the V initial and I can have an equation that looks like V final is equal to uh, V initial plus A T. Now if I plug in those numbers there, V initial is 55 miles per hour. Okay. And then I add in my acceleration, which is 1.25 miles per hour per second. And I multiply that by 8 seconds. I go to my seconds. Uh, then I can add my, once I multiply that out, and I find that my final velocity is, let's look at my notes here. Final velocity would be 65 miles per hour. So now I just took the same equation and I rearranged it and I found um, an acceleration and I also rearranged and I played around with the, that equation with another con different, or that same constant velocity for 8 seconds this time and found the final velocity. Now, what if instead I wanted to find the distance that I went going from that's 65 miles per hour, so I'll put that back up here. What if I wanted to find how far I went when I went from 55 miles an hour to 65 miles an hour? Well, that's a different um, set of equations. I can actually rearrange these equations or play around with these guys and uh, find out my final velocity is V initial times time plus A times the time, acceleration times the time. Um, Oh, and I can also, but, I, but the easier equation to look at is um, D is my average 
velocity time to time. Well, what is my average velocity in this case? Well, all I have to do is plug it in here. Uh, v average is V initial plus V final divided by 2. And that would be 65 miles per hour plus 55 miles per hour divided by 2 is, that's 120 miles per hour divided by 2. And so my V average is 60 miles per hour. Okay? So if I plug that into this equation here, uh, or actually this one here, is V average times time. I know that it took me 8 seconds. So I do 60 miles per hour times 8 seconds. Oh, I have a problem there a little bit. Now I've changed my units a bit. Well, I can either change my hours, uh, this guy to seconds, or I can change the seconds to hours. And what I'll do is I will change this hours to seconds, so I have 60 miles per hour. I'll change that, I'll divide that by 60 minutes per hour. And I'll divide that by 60 seconds per minute. I get rid of my minutes, I get rid of my hours. I'll multiply that by my 8 seconds. And I get... 1.33 miles. When I multiply and divide all this out, uh, the 60 goes away too. Well, it divides out to 1. And so I have 8 over 60, which gives me 1.33 miles. So, um, there's one other cool equation that you could come up with with these two equations right here. And that is a with constant acceleration, you can always get the final displacement or the distance is distance is uh, V initial times time plus one half A T squared. And this is a fun equation that we'll use a lot, um, but you can always get that from all these other things as well. Okay? So instead of doing two or three equations or two or three different equations, you can do it all with one. All right, so you can play around with different equations in the um, kinematics and come up with lots of different fun answers for lots of different fun and exciting problems in physics. So thanks for tuning in. Again, uh, kinematics in one dimension with constant acceleration. Thanks for tuning in.